Hello everyone, this is Dr. Arjay Gupta. I did my undergraduation from Ames Delhi, following which I did my MD in Pediatrics again from again uh, again from Ames Delhi, and I'm now pursuing my SS, that is your super specialization in pediatric oncology, again from Ames Delhi. Now this video is meant for all people who are currently there in their third profession, like uh, third prof, third prof, that is your ENT, PSM, and uh, your ophthal prof. And uh, a lot of you, after I made the videos on the first and second prof survival guide and how to choose your resources. Uh, requested a video for the third prof. So here it is. Uh, I'm going to follow the same format that I used uh, in all my videos. First, I'll talk about the books that are important. Second, uh, I'll talk about what are, uh, as far as online platforms are concerned, videos are concerned, which are good videos, which can serve as an ad adjunct to the all important standard textbooks. And third is how do we align these books and videos together? Okay. Now, I uh, a word of advice, what this video is not because third prof is ideally the best time to start your neat pg preparation this video is not a neat pg preparation strategy video why because i'll actually make a separate video for that all right and this video is not on how to do fourth prof and third prof as well which a portion of you should do but it's not like you shouldn't but that demands a separate video this video is an isolated third prof subjects which books which teachers which videos how to do those books and videos together for the maximum impact both from your prof and your neat pg point of view this is that video how to go a three year strategy a two year strategy what uh, if next happens neat pg happens this is not that video okay now let's begin the discussion now, as far as books are concerned we know the books books are in fact the easiest to gauge here psm park no doubt about that Opthal, either Kurana or Parsons. Now, I personally preferred Parsons, reading Parsons, but there's a problem with Parsons. The problem with Parsons is the same as the problem with Guyton. Easy to read, like a storybook, you don't remember jack shit when exam comes and you're not able to form answers. That is the problem with Parks, which is the reason you might end up taking up Kurana, which is a perfectly valid option in my opinion. Kurana is also a decently written book. All right, my advice would be to read Park for better understanding and then go to Kurana from your exam point of view. See your past university papers and see how you can write the answers from Kurana, but try to read Parson. As far as ENT is concerned, Dhingra is a definitely a really good book. And for forensic medicine and toxicology, I'll actually recommend a radically different book than you might have actually ever heard. Uh, it is out of print because it was a Ames uh, sort of restricted to Ames and a around Delhi. But in my opinion, it's a gem of a book. It's a book by Dr. R.K. Sharma. It is a perfect blend between being a review book. It's not a review book, by the way, it's a textbook, but it is concise enough. In fact, the name of the book was Concise Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. He made a textbook, he made, but he made it concise enough, Dr. R.K. Sharma. He was a former HOD here at Ames. Uh, he made a concise textbook. It, it, it does not have that review book feeling. Uh, point wise, no, 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 it is a textbook, but it is concise enough. It it made me like forensic medicine a lot. All right. Uh, reading Parekh, Red D tends to get a bit boring. Forensic medicine by itself is a very interesting subject. Try reading Dr. Rakesh Sharma. I'll give you the link where you can find the PDF of this particular book. Otherwise, obviously you have Biswas, Red D, whichever book you're using that works perfectly fine. Now, as far as online and offline platforms are concerned, if you're going to start your preparation for neat PG, amongst offline platforms, you have Dams and Bhartia. My personal preference, Bhartia. Two reasons. I like Bhartia more. Uh, it's TND more. Second, my wife teaches there. Uh, a lot of you might know that Dr. Divya, my wife, she is a pediatrics faculty at uh, Bhatia. So there again, I can't say dams, even if I want to. It's Bhatia. And personally also, uh, jokes apart, I like Bhatia more. Now, as far as online platforms are concerned, uh, again, a sort of a star rating. Uh, as far as PSM is concerned, if you take the major players, Dr. Mukmohit, Dr. Taneja, and uh, Dr. Vivek from Marrow Prep and Cerebellum, the best faculty obviously is going to be, in my opinion, Dr. Mukmohit, closely followed by Dr. Vivek Jain. Some people might like Vivek Jain more. Some people might like Dr. Mukmohit more. I personally feel that Dr. Vivek Jain is a better teacher for the non-conceptual and the factual parts. He makes those things interesting. While Dr. Mukmohit is a better teacher for the conceptual parts, which is the reason I have rated him a bit higher. And that's why I placed him a higher. As far as ENT is concerned, only two teachers and only two really good teachers one is Dr. Rajiv Dhawan from Dr. Tutorials and the other is Dr. Manisha. Both of them, excellent teacher, chef's kiss. 
either of them you can consider taking from studying from or whatever it is now as far as opthal is concerned uh, again i would say that dr ruchi from preplader and dr utsav bansal are actually together in my view uh what i personally feel is dr ruchi makes better notes dr utsav bansal technically teaches better conceptually I've actually personally attended a three-day offline class of Dr. Utsav Bansal, and I love that he how he starts from neuro ophthalmology, uh, which are basically more conceptual parts of ophthalmology, and then moves towards the more factual parts of ophthalmology. All right, again, you can, in my opinion, both are equivalent. Some strong here, some strong here. If we take all these three subjects into consideration, I'm not taking FMT into consideration. The reason why is because I feel FMT wise, you just need to do Dr. R. K. Sharma. You yourself will like it. Overall, let's be honest. For third prof, the best platform for third prof teachers per se would be Maro. Now, how to approach third prof? Again, this is to for your prof examination and a little bit of PG prep. Not a proper need PG preparation strategy video. This is not that. Again, I'm reminding you. Now, when one of my juniors, I talked with my junior, like you know, how are you using Maro? She said something very unique to me, which is the reason I wanted to make this video. Also, she said something on the lines that Maro is meant for toppers. This was both a praise and a bit of a caution. Also, what she essentially meant was was that it's fully possible for a lot of students to get overwhelmed with the content that is present in Maro. That you might have this desire that not desire you might feel the need that you need to watch all the videos. You need to do all the Q bank, all the twenty thousand question, and need to do all the test in order to get a rank in NEET PG. This desire is what is called as FOMO. It's easy to get overwhelmed. It's easy to get in the fear of missing out of doing everything that is there. This is why I'm making this video. Don't do that. It is the best platform, but use it according to your own needs and how that platform gives you the best results. All right. We are not bound to the platform. The platform is bound to us in some way, right? So use the platform best. It's the best platform. Platform is a really good platform, no doubt. But use it properly so that you get the best result and the desired result out of it. All right. So how do you approach it? Now, uh, how do you approach it from a PG point of view? Another, like I said, separate video. But from a prof point of view, all these subjects. I'll start with PSM first. Now, PSM can easily be divided into three broad categories. Okay. epidemiology and biostats disease and its programmatic management and the rest okay and i think all three are 33 33 33 percent uh, uh, from uh, you know uh, in park as well first thing go for main videos at third prof you have ample time you can actually do main videos don't take shortcuts at this point of time which is your revision videos that is meant for someone who's in internship who doesn't have time because internship can get hectic you have time in third prof try to go for main videos especially 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 for epidemiology and biostats it's one thing that requires a lot of conceptual understanding it's one thing which is asked very frequently in ini ct especially your biostats and epidemiology and you won't get any understanding from revision videos try to watch the main videos dr mukmoit has done an excellent job explaining biostats go for that really good understanding go through the videos understand the bit from the videos read park and you will be you will be set right so this is as far as epidemiology of biostats and disease and programs are concerned for the rest i will actually advise you it's okay if you skip the videos also it's actually okay you don't need to watch each and every video in fact you don't even need to read park also it can get overwhelming the park also can get boring and overwhelming what is there in the notes in maro also it's actually more than enough from your end prof point of view as well just go through your past 5 years university paper whichever thing is missing you can supplement from park but overall i would say you can actually skip this part this rest part is the reason why psm is infamous in my opinion psm is not that bad a subject uh, especially the epidemiology and the disease parts is actually good you should read park and should watch the main videos for the rest part just go through the notes and you will be sorted just see the past 5 year questions and you will be sorted in fact this is the this rest part is the reason why a lot of people hate psm otherwise it's not that bad a subjects uh my personal view if you start hating it from the beginning itself 
uh, it sort of be- becomes a self fulfilling prophecy will keep on heating it more when you actually do the non interesting and the boring part of psm right so remove that part of psm re- do main videos for that uh, the rest read the park properly you'll enjoy psm for the rest from exam point of view just do the notes not need no need to read park also no need to do the videos also okay that is as far as the psm is concerned as as ent ophthal is concerned uh, assuming you are taking maro dr manisha dr sir have done an excellent job watch the main video see the notes try to read the textbook go to the main textbook and you know read the textbook read it fast even if you don't understand doesn't matter go through the main video now you will understand and then read the textbook again this way your textbook reading is also done this way your videos are also done and you will get a distinction if you are able to do it properly definitely both of them are taught ent and ophthal in an excellent manner a small word of advice here again now uh ent and ophthal are actually minor or short subjects as far as your entrance exam is concerned which basically means that they do not have more than 3 to 5 questions in the actual exam while their notes here are really good and they have explained in depth which excellent from a third prof point of view they can get overwhelming in internship which is the reason today itself i'm going to advise you that please for these two subjects ophthal and ent solve the previous year questions now in the third year itself and solve custom modules based on the previous year question this will give you an idea of more important topics and less important topics from the more important topics try to create from 500 pages some 150 to 200 pages of your own concise notes otherwise when you go into internship and trying to read from these notes again you will get overwhelmed and you will feel that these notes are useless and they are bulky you should now itself try to concise them these notes are excellent they provide you an excellent conceptual understanding in the third prof during internship either use the revision videos and previous year question to trim down these notes or today itself solve the previous year question use custom modules and maro in order to trim down these notes okay so this is how you can approach third prof get distinction in each and every subject or at least good marks in each and every subject psm the main one which troubles everyone the rest just do the notes for the rest do videos and park get a good understanding enjoy psm ent ophthal the videos read the textbook fast video se understanding read textbook again you will be done but just a small word of advice solve previous year question in custom modules and at the same point of time concise your notes this will help you avoid fomo in internship of the bulkiness of the notes the notes are excellent the understanding becomes excellent but try to concise them at the same point of time to date itself this is how you can actually use maro in the best possible manner in your third prof Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll make a separate video related to how to approach PG preparation using Maro or using another platform in a proper manner in some other some other time after a week or after three four days. But uh, how to approach these subjects and how to use Maro? This is from my side. Thank you and have a nice day.